This is a calm. Don't come. Calm? I'm gonna fucking come. Ah! I've decided I like caramel. Yummy. I've decided I like caramel more than chocolate. It's official. Yeah. Jane, what's your opinion on the caramel versus chocolate debacle? Yes. Welcome to the podcast, everybody. You there, little human boy or girl. Doesn't matter. Come closer. Who, me? God, you're fatter than I thought, but you'll have to do. Come on, keep up, you corpulent little sausage jockey. Right through that door there. Which one? That one. The one with the blood splatters and pudding stains. What's in here? Shut up and go inside. Uh, It's dark. It sure is, mortal. Welcome to the realm of the Midnight Elves. I... uh... I don't feel so good. Zane, I, uh... Are you positive you want to do this? Spencer's not here. I don't see another chance where we're going to have the opportunity to do point. this. That's a good point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, Alright, I think I'm ready. I'm, okay, I'm going to do it now. Okay. <clears throat> mama say, 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 mama What um, happened? You're back in a big way. We missed you, buddy. What year is it? Um, the year is what is today? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I don't know. There was time. The time. Time comes to a crawl in the midnight realm, as you all well know. Time is an illusion. Time is of the essence, and that's why we're gonna get this fucking show started. The guy talking right now. It's Seamus, your, everyone. Your temp. <laughs> Uh. Way to fuck it up. <laughs> Your temporary host, right now speaking, it's me, Zane. And to my right is... Uh, back from the dead, uh, decaying just a little bit. Colin's uh, nose fell on the floor and Sophie grabbed it and carried it away. Give me that back! Give me that back! <laughs> yes, Colin, once dead, now undead, roams the, the, the apartment's... And you know what, guys? <laughs> the apartment haunts our dreams. <laughs> you know what, guys? What, Zane? We t- we talked it over. Got rid of Spencer. Colin is the new main star. It's we gonna, heard your guys' complaints. From now on, it's yeah. going to be me, Colin, and the third voice you're hearing today. Seamus Sometimes. Seamus Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes is his middle name. My new name. <laughs> <laughs> So there you go. It's like the name of a fucking cheesy fucking 70s show <laughs> in Shame Ireland. Is, Shame is sometimes. Shame is sometimes. I'm like fucking got my eye leaning on my hand in the cover. So, everything. So if we get any more com- comments about not introducing ourselves in the future, watch your back. You guys actually get comments? Yeah. <laughs> we do now. We do now, yeah. Because uh, I'm here. They're mainly complaints. Mostly complaints about how Colin If you dead. complain, then fuck you. Yeah, that's right. That's Colin said it. That means it's okay to say. That's true. Colin. The, uh, the resurrection has removed my filter. Colin so. is Indian, by the way. Yes. For those of you that don't know, we have three shades. American of bra- Indian. Three, uh, three shades of brown with us today. <laughs> <laughs> Can you even name three shades of brown? Brown, burnt sienna, <laughs> and tan. Suck a dick, Colin. <laughs> I don't think that counts. That counts, baby. Tan isn't brown. Tan is tan. You got okay. like caramel. That's got, not brown either. That's yeah. caramel, according you, to Colin. You got like mocha. Here you go, Colin. Brown, light brown, dark brown. So fuck you. <laughs> well, you got me there. Might as well crawl back in my grave. Have you <laughs> not seen Little Man? I haven't. Who the fuck man. is Little Man? You don't want to know. There is a whole scene where the cops describe suspects and they use terms like mocha and caramel. Really? Yes. And it's a black cop. Wait, no, I think it was the white cop that was saying it. There's a black cop in the movie, and he's racist towards black people. Yeah. So whenever there, he's like... He's an Uncle Ruckus type thing. <laughs> yeah, he, exactly. The, the white yeah. cop's like, he's upstairs, and he's black, and the black cop's like, I got him! And he pulls his baton out, and he <laughs> runs up the stairs. It's really fucked up. You know what's weird? How, like, kung fu movies used to be such a big thing, and they're not really, like, they're not really a thing anymore, but, like... Only in, like, foreign countries. Yeah, I guess so. But I'm saying, there's still, like... Not black exploitation movies, but like black people movies in America. 
There's no like Asian movies or Mexican movies or anything like that. Uh, I don't know. What's, uh, what's that one movie that came out recently? Crazy Rich Asian? That's an Asian movie. That's like the only one. Yeah. Cra that, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Mulan. I guess it's because uh, Pacific Rim. China just has their own, you know, movie industry. That's like, true too. Just, you know, there's so much. They're a gigantic country with a bunch of fucking money. Gigantic country with a big Great Wall, which I mean, is not a good movie. From it was okay. Minus <laughs> was that the yeah we, we watched that didn't we yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. minus fall asleep with cheeseburger hangovers. <laughs> minus <laughs> one movie that I've seen and basically from everything that I've heard yeah Koreans are like one point right now they're like. Yeah, Koreans are always yeah. yeah. The Koreans are really good with their Some, media. There are a couple of my favorite movies are Korean movies. Yeah, same. I say I hear the same thing about French movies, but I don't watch. French I like movies. Japanese oh, movies oh. a lot, and French movies are good too. German movies, Scandinavian. There's a whole bunch of good movies. Hold on, pause. I gotta yeah. turn this off. It's too loud. Yeah, just turn it up to like I don't know what it's at now. Turn it up to like seventy. But anyway, back to movies. Like, there's no okay. I guess you could say Jackie Chan is probably bigger than Bruce Lee at this point. Who's more popular, Jackie Chan or Bruce Lee? Harold and uh, Kumar. I mean, how how would you judge more popular? Who? What are the kids dressing up as for Halloween? Neither. <laughs> what is, kids, a, kids are too fat to dress up like let's get a, kid, <laughs> kid stars nowadays. Let's get a kid on the horn right now. Hold on, I got a little kid on speed dial. I'm gonna say Bruce Lee. Okay. Hello? Hello? Yes, this is... Tommy! Tommy, what are you going up uh, to Halloween as? Deadpool? What a fucking faggot. I'm done talking <laughs> to the kids these days. The kids these days. I'd rather be drunk and mad. I'd rather be foreigner for Halloween. Honestly, I feel like, uh, <laughs> what's his name? Bruce Lee has a more iconic sort of like physique. Yeah, I was going to say He's got a way yeah, more true. iconic look. I, that's true. Not only that, but he's like inspired so much shit. Yeah. And He's the OG man. I fucking love Bruce Lee. Holy shit! Bruce Lee, like Jackie Chan, is don't get me wrong. Jackie Chan is is a really entertaining. Yeah, he's, he's really entertaining. He's Absolutely. a good actor. He's done a lot of stuff. Yeah, Bruce Lee was just like fucking nice superhuman. Dude, one bad when he was alive. Yeah, he was just one. How bad do you guys guy. think Bruce Lee died? Because I've heard some people actually don't know how he died. Natural causes, right? Yeah, he had a he, had he an was aneurysm. like forty years old. He had a, he had a brain aneurysm. Yeah. I've heard that. I've heard um, something in his stomach. I've heard overdose. Who no, knows? I, I, it what wasn't because overdose. His, he, his son died from like the same thing. No, his he, son died from getting fucking shot in the head point blank on the set of the crow. It couldn't. Yeah, That's how yeah, his son. Died. Yeah, it shows how much I know. I don't know shit about Bruce Lee's it, son. It couldn't have been overdose. He took way too good care of his body. Dude, overdose on too much good stuff. You know what they say? Too much. Too much. Too bad. much. Before they had, saying ultra rare. Yeah. Before he, they had those like mineral shit. Like people take the tablets and shit. Bruce Lee was like doing that shit. He was popping fucking hot tub. No, no, he was like finding <laughs> like he was doing it manually. Like he would look for like the perfect it was diet like and make sure he had the Chinese perfect amount steroids. Yeah. of everything. Yeah. Anyway, I was gonna say I think both of them appeal to the older generation more so than the younger. But I think Bruce Lee twenty times more. Is there a modern day equivalent? Is the next question. I don't no, think that there I don't is. Think so. No, I don't think there that's is. a shame, man. If, if I there, fucking if, love kung fu movies. If so there much. is, it's, it's. I was gonna say if there is, it's not like an actor from like. Do you mean like a, a really iconic a movie? sort of like Asian actor? Yeah, like I'll, there's not any big action people anymore. I'll, I was gonna say if there are, it's not from movies. It's probably from like games. games I mean, or the, anime. the really big that's like true, action too. star right now, I think, I think definitely is Keanu Reeves. Really, I would say The Rock. Well, The Rock, yeah, The Rock is up there, but I think that when it comes to like being like actual like. Action guy, oh, yeah, Keanu yeah, yeah. Reeves seems to be the one who is kind of because like, he actually because he actually does his stuff. Yeah, he does. His the stuff. Rock will do anything. Does The Rock do his own stunts? No, I don't think so. he does have a body double. Yeah, yeah, his his like cousin or something. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you ever uh, seen that um that documentary about Jackie Chan's body doubles? No, no we were telling it's about. fucking awesome. He like treats them like family members. They like they they've known each other for so long. Like they're in each other's lives so much. And that kind of stuff. Even though he does his own stunts, there's still some stuff he like legally has to use body doubles for. But he doesn't like. I guess you could say I. I would assume that a lot of people in Hollywood treat body doubles like lesser actors. But like uh, Je uh, Jackie Chan, they don't get treated well yeah. at all. I know, you know, like stuntmen too. Like, but Jackie Chan See, like that's supposedly why loves I like Keanu Reeves because you always hear about how well he treats all of like the people that he works on set with, like all of his yeah. stuntmen and choreographers. And I don't even like Keanu Reeves, but I think that he's probably one of the few legitimately nice people in Hollywood. We were talking yeah. about this a couple uh -huh. days ago. I know. I know. Like, I don't even give a shit that he's in cyberpunk, but it's not a minus for me at all. It, it, when, the, when the trailer came on, I was like, what the f- like, oh, that was weird, I didn't expect that. 
But then, uh, how do you feel about how he what he said afterwards, where he was like, you know, video games don't need like token Hollywood actors to be legitimate. Is that what he said? That's what he said. He said that in a tweet. He didn't say it on the stage. No, he didn't no, say I mean, it on the stage. No, I mean, I agree with that 100%. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh-huh. It has been this trend recently, though. I mean, fucking Kojima's the biggest fucking offender of that, having Refn and fucking Guillermo del Toro and Mads. obviously Norman Reedens, Mads. Yeah. The girl from uh, fucking Spectre. And the girl that was, what was she, the bionic woman? Something like that? Who? The girl, I don't know, she's on one of the, she's in one of the, um, thing. It was a big reveal trailer, like, last year or something. I don't know, I still don't know what to think of fucking Death Stranding. But that's besides the point. Because we don't know what it is. I know, I know. You know, and when does it come out? It comes out in, like, like six months or something. It comes out today. Go pick up Death Stranding. Go to GameStop.com. Uh, check it out. See if you can get Hideo Kojima to sign it for you at uh, TGS when you go there to see the preview. I thought you were going to say TGI Fridays. <laughs> 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 go to TGIFridays.com. Don't even close the TGI Fridays. Kojima's hanging out there. Before we move on, there's one thing I'd like to say. I, uh-huh. I do think Bruce Lee, for sure, because they show his documentary on TV like all the time and it still gets watches. Yeah. My dad has seen it a dozen times. I think that he's much least. more iconic than Jackie Chan, yeah. but I feel like, I mean... Granted, what the again? It's like the whole what the fuck are kids like? Do they care about? That's what that I'm saying. It's like kids. I don't think will give give shit. I feel so but like my dad has seen the Bruce Lee documentary like more than a dozen times. That's crazy. Because I almost feel like they got they got uh, popular in, in kind of different methods. Like Jackie Chan, yeah. I feel got really popular because he's an entertainer. You yeah. know, he was he was always been an entertainer. Like that's always been like his. Uh, main yeah. sort of motivation. Bruce well, he's Lee, good at. It. I mean, he does all of his shit. Oh like, yeah, definitely. But Bruce Lee was yeah. like. He, he kind of got a involved personality. in music. He said, yeah, but before, even before, you know, I almost feel like he got famous because he was so amazing. Yeah, you that's know, true he, too. he was just like yeah. so kind of like yeah. bigger than life. Almost. That would be a celebrity I would definitely want to meet. You know what I mean? Like, I think, like, I don't know. Bruce Lee's definitely up there, though. What about you guys? Has there been a celebrity you wanted to meet? You mean like a dead celebrity? Anybody. Doesn't matter. Anybody? Anybody. Uh, I would guess Mike Judge. I've said this like, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not because like <laughs> there's only a couple of things that I actually like that he did. Yeah. But I've seen I haven't even seen all of his work and I've seen like every behind the scenes video and yeah. making of documentary. He seems like a really cool guy. He's I've seen interviews, I've seen him on podcasts, and he's one of the few people where he he's he's done all this interesting stuff, but he like he's He's and he's like live. I'm not sure. I don't yeah. think, I'm not sure if he still lives in Hollywood, but he's lived in that environment. Yeah, yeah. And it seems like he's one of the few people that, are, that like Keanu Reeves, where it didn't like change him. Or he's still humble. He's still humble, and I think I genuinely think he's interesting. Like mm-hmm. he talks about like making like starting in Hollywood, and like because he wasn't one of those people that was born into it. He just got yeah. into it. Yeah. He talks about like his early days is making beefs and butthead, and then people are like, "What are you doing right now?" And he's like. I've gotten into surfing. Like he's, <laughs> he's such like a normal yeah. guy. He's he, like he doesn't yeah. he doesn't know like how to like. It's like John Carpenter. Whenever they have interviews with him, he's like, "So John, uh, any movies going on?" He's like, "Well, I've been playing Destiny a lot." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, that's, yeah no, I kind of like act, uh, people in Hollywood like that too because that's yeah. that's almost kind of like a, a natural thing that a lot of people do. Like you, you change careers. You know, it's yeah. just kind of what happens in your life. And, yeah. You know, well, like, I imagine they had their time in the in it's gotta spotlight. Be, and exactly, okay it's got to be know, boring. Off, yeah. Something like that, especially if they like if they're been so prevalent at one point, kind of thing. They got to get fucking tired of it. Yeah, well, that's that's the thing. People are like, "Have you done like beefs and butthead at bars to pick up girls?" He's like, "Eh, done it at bars, like, like to pick up chicks." Like, eh, yeah, like people on podcasts have asked yeah, him, like, "Just always want yeah, that." And yeah, and he, he's like, "They're like, do the cornholio like, voice." For, <laughs> he's like, for people that like. <laughs> Did manage? I've never done it to like get somebody, but people, a few people, have managed to pick me out and say like, "Do it." Yeah. And like, yeah, I've done it, and like, I, they, they have to like pitch it up in editing anyway, so they don't even believe yeah, me. Yeah, it doesn't. They're sound like that like doesn't it. sound right. Yeah. And so, also, it's like as you get older, too, your voice just kind of changes exactly, a little bit yeah. too. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, yeah, I haven't done How that. How old shit. is he now? Probably like fucking. Yeah, he's probably fifty like something. Fifty or sixty? He's he's definitely late forties, yeah. not fifties. Yeah. What about you, Colin? Uh, I don't know. It's always hard these kind of questions because I gotta try to think about sort of. Every celebrity, yeah. and uh, honestly, we, we're just talking about him, and she's just on my mind right now. It's Keanu. probably Keanu. Yeah, he just seems like a, a guy who'd just be cool to hang out with. You yeah. know, he's probably interested in a lot of neat things. Yeah, and, you know, I'd love to, you know, learn some stuntman things that I'm sure that he knows and whatnot. So, have you seen the behind the scenes for John Wick where he uh, pulls out a gun and fucking kills himself? <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to show me. Well, it's a snuff I, I've film. Seen, I have, <laughs> it's illegal. 
I have seen some of the behind the scenes stuff. Like I it saw is him. legitimately though, it's really interesting seeing him, seeing him do all of his stunt work. Yeah, and how uh, in the first movie, uh, there's that one car scene where yeah. he has to slide the car sort of into. It's a shot where he kind of slides it into the camera focus, sort of in right, a way, yeah, like yeah. right into like the passenger yeah. side window. Yeah, and he like just nails it. And it's him doing it. Like they don't really? have like, a stunt driver. Or anything I don't like think that. I knew that. He does it. It's yeah, pretty cool. Uh, it's really neat. Yeah. Yeah, because there's guys like, like, I don't know, your favorite actor, right? Like, mine, now at least, is Tom Hardy. Yeah, same. Yeah. I don't know nothing. Oh, I'd love to hang out with Tom Hardy. Like, I don't know anything about him, and like, yeah. I'd, like, I wouldn't be, it's not like the, I'm afraid to meet him, because he's yeah. like my favorite actor. It's the, I don't know anything about him. Yeah. I don't know anything besides all I know is I love him as an actor. I just like to talk to Tom Hardy, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I feel like he'd just be a real chill guy. Maybe not. Who the fuck knows? That's, what, yeah, that's know. what I'm saying. It's like, I know I know, just based off the shit I've seen that Mike Judge, I think genuinely, mm -hmm. he would at least give me the time of day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For all I know, somebody like Tom Hardy, I mean, I'm just speculating. I have no idea. Yeah. I'm not trying probably to make Tom the guy... Probably Tom Cruise or something. Probably yeah. like, I would you know. love to fucking sit down and have an interview for three hours with Tom Cruise. <laughs> I would fucking love that. Holy shit. Midnight Elvis fans, get a petition out there for, <laughs> for Uncle Sprugus to interview Tom, Tom Cruise. Cruise. <laughs> Please. I want to do it so fucking bad. I don't yeah. even hate Tom Cruise. I'm not one of those people. Let's talk about that. Tom Cruise gets so much unnecessary hate in Just Hollywood. let me finish my thing. Yeah, okay, go yeah. ahead. Go All ahead. I wanted to say was, I don't know anything about the guy, and despite the fact that I like him, it's like, I don't know if I want to meet him because... Well, I know I'd sit down with them and it's like... Because so, you have these expectations. Yeah, well, you it, don't want to... Yeah. For me, it's not even expectations. For all I know, it's like, personality-wise, he lives in a completely different world. Yeah, yeah. There's no sense in trying to hang out with him if I... Don't if, have anything to connect with if him. If anything to connect with him, yeah. Well, that, that's not, part of the reason why I find... Sorry to cut you off, but okay. that's part of the reason why I find it difficult to answer like that kind of question where it's like what celebrity would I hang out with is because I don't really care much about celebrities personal lives yeah. like I'm not, I'm not one of those people who follows you know what the hell they do when they're not in movies I'm not talking about so. that I'm saying it's somebody that you like that would be like yeah they might be interesting to meet like Tom Hardy strikes like Keanu yeah. and Bruce Lee and fucking Mike they're down to earth people yeah. and like, that would be entertaining to talk to because they probably have a shit ton of stories honestly if I met Keanu I could brag about it to my dad too exactly yeah. Lewis would fucking love it dude he would go fucking <laughs> nuts he'd yeah. be like what God, I'd love you on the podcast. I wish Lewis was a permanent fixture. <laughs> he can tell us all about his coked up stories on motorcycles crashing. Into I, I don't know who Lewis is. Lewis, Lewis is Colin, my dad. Lewis is Colin's dad. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I wish Lewis was my dad. Should have told him. Did you tell him about Father's Day? Oh, I should have. Holy should have. Fuck, I fucked up. But um. But anyway, back to Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise gets a lot of fucking hate. And I don't think it's warranted personally because I, I think don't I think he is so fucking good at what he does. Like I don't give a shit about his personal life, but I'm one of those people. Some people can't separate the you know, uh, the, the work from the exactly. The man. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I I like all the stuff that he's in. I'm not even like a big fan of his stuff. It's just like I will never not see a movie because Tom Cruise is in. I'm not gonna be like, Ugh. whenever yeah. whenever Tom Cruise gets brought up, I always remember. Just how short he is. Yeah, he's got short and he's got a fucking middle tooth, dude. It's <laughs> disgusting. What? what? You've never seen tooth? this? What are you talking about? Dude, you know what I'm talking about? I think I do. Like yeah. on the roof of his mouth? No, Tom uh -huh. Cruise, when he smiles, you can see it. If you draw like a line down his face yeah. for symmetry, he has a tooth dead in the middle on his like, upper jaw. You know how you have your tooth front teeth? His I swear to weird. God, look his, it up. His are like a line. I don't want to. It's fucking very weird, though. You'll never look at Tom Cruise the same. Tom Cruise is in one of her movies, Edge of Tomorrow. <laughs> I like War of the Worlds more than Edge of Tomorrow. War of the like Worlds is really too. fucking good. That, yeah. that's, I, I that's haven't good, seen yeah. a lot of Tom Cruise movies, so I don't really have an opinion. What on Tom that. Cruise movies are there? Top a lot. Five. There's a lot of them. Indian in the cupboard. <laughs> Baby in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Cruise in the closet. <laughs> Tom Cruise. We're talking about rock movies. There's a shit ton of rock movies. Rock <laughs> movies. Yeah, The Rock. The rock. Dwayne oh, the Rock yeah. Johnson. Uh -huh. He's in twelve movies he's a in, month. He's, he's like, in, like yeah, he's only like two movies a year. I cannot. I'll tell you. Two a year. What? Something like that, yeah. No, he's in like 12 movies I'll a year. I'll tell you one thing. Conversely, I fucking cannot stand The Rock at yeah. all. Like, I think he's such a fucking, like... We talked about oh, this. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm The Rock. I'm funny and nice, and I eat pancakes all the time. <laughs> Fuck you, Rock. Yeah, I we used to follow him on Instagram. That's basically what <laughs> I know! Happens. He's always like, cheat day. He's got like 50,000 pancakes and three pizzas. Uh -huh. Like, uh, hashtag Liddy. Liddy life. We, we talked about you. We talked about this after we saw Shazam. Yeah. How fucking I want to see. Oh, that's why I wish it was John Cena. That's another thing entirely. <laughs> anyway, um, no, I think The Rock is the. Well, we talked about this. He's like, 
I don't think he's like an asshole. Yeah. But he's definitely the kind he's of guy. Just, he's very almost like he's become his own persona so much to the fact that and he's so prevalent. He's almost kind of generic. He seems fake as fuck. Yes, exactly. That's why I don't like he him. seems like it's not that he's a bad guy, but he yeah. he. He puts on the the fake smile and the goofy like. But he's put it on for so long that it is who he is. So he himself is like fake. That's what I think of when I think of the Rock. Like I don't think he's probably a bad person. I just think he's fake as shit. And the, I think like he's like a corporate fucking robot. I, I this don't is know. exactly yeah. what I said after we saw Shazam, which is the Rock is the kind of guy who's gonna look at you dead in the eyes, smile, and fuck your mom right in front of you. No, he'll look you dead in the eyes. He'll smile and be like, you know, hey, how's it going yeah. or whatever. But you know he's rolling his fucking eyes. Yeah. Behind, yeah. Behind I think it's just he, he's the kind of guy where he's, he's like, he's got so much money and he's so fucking gigantic. He's one of those people who could really do whatever the fuck he wanted. It's not fair. You know? It's Literally fair. anything but that he's he wanted not, to do. See, he's not the same caliber at all as Stallone and fucking Schwarzenegger. And people always compare him to that. I don't fucking get it. Because The Rock is kind of like... I mean, I guess what we're talking about... I guess they compare him like action movie-wise. Yeah. But... I mean, Stallone, that's the only thing he they, fucking does. He they were kind of more, serious. they were more stoic. Like they kind of were, and they never really were in. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Like a lot mm -hmm. of comedies and stuff like that. Like oh, the fucking Rock does a lot Schwarzenegger of fucking... was in a lot of comedies. Yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. Not Stallone so much. That's what I find. He's in some comedies, but nothing like Schwarzenegger. That's what I find interesting about Schwarzenegger. Is everybody thinks that he's just like serious? Well, no, no, no. Or just no, no, no. Just okay. like, uh, like they put him, they put him in that category of like. Oh, company comes up to him. He wants a paycheck, and he'll just do whatever. Yeah, he actually like did an. I think it was an interview. He did something lately where he talked about like how he, he decides stone be the rolls. Fucking governor of California, he definitely yeah. cares about. People. And he yeah. he talks about like how at least now in his old age. I'm not saying yeah. back in the day, but now in his old age, every movie he does, he wants to be something new, something he hasn't done before. Mm -hmm. He wants to be a completely unique experience. I've got I've got all the respect in the world for Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm not saying even if I even though I like Stallone's movies more, I still fucking love Arnold Schwarzenegger. I feel like Schwarzenegger has like given more back to yeah. sort of, like try to actually like improve the world and yeah. you know like a meaningful Well, his thing is really interesting too. Like his whole life story fucking growing up and being the bodybuilder then yeah. getting seen and caught and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Caught caught in a trap. Uh, that James Cameron laid out of his house one night. <laughs> I said, hey, I'm writing a thing called The Terminator. He's like, cool. Can I do it? <laughs> yeah, I don't really know too much about, like, The Rock's early life. Yeah, The Rock yeah. Uh, is I from think that Texas. He's had, he's had some shit, I think, that went down with him, too, I think. Who knows? I know that he's not a fucking Hawaiian, even though Hobbs and Shaw would have you believe otherwise. He's not even Hawaii. Is that... I don't even know. I thought they were in Hawaii. It is looked like Hawaii. Are? I don't, I don't know. fucking know. They had they had like clubs like. I thought they clubs. were like Maoris was... or something like that. You know, like New Zealand. isn't a Maori Hawaiian? I thought Maori's no, no, were Maoris New are Zealanders. Maoris are New Zealanders. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. you're right. I thought I thought he was Hawaiian. And He's Hawaiian. Samoan. The Rock is Samoan. Oh, was that it? Mm-hmm. I don't know where that is. Wasn't, I don't know where Samoa is. Wasn't he Hawaiian? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure Samoa is an American territory. I think Samoa so. is on the tip of Mount Fuji, and three people live there. I think they're those mistaken. coconut cookies that the Girl Scouts sell that are fucking delicious. <laughs> I'm He's not. from the box. <laughs> Open another box, like, "Hey guys, how's it going?" Ah! You, so you, put enough of, you stack enough of them together, and then put a little head on top, and it just forms the rock. <laughs> oh, not again, he says. <laughs> Fuck Someone said me anywhere in the world. I thought he was Hawaiian and uh, Moana. He is Moana. No what? joke, right? That is... I didn't see Moana. That's the name of his character. Andy no, Island, no, right? no. His, his the name of his character is no, it's Maui, Moana, right? Moana is the the girl. Yeah, yeah, it's Maui. Maui. Okay. It's, it's Maui. Maui. It's Maui. Yeah, Maui, I think, is okay. his name. Because of that meme. That meme of the uh, the tattoo guy. The dancing yeah. tattoos. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what he looks like. I just didn't know. I thought I'm it... saying, because in, in that meme, he goes, uh, he goes, um, I'm Maui and I'm messing around or something like that. Okay. He says his name. Shit. My meme <laughs> history's off, I suppose. I <laughs> yeah, your meme history. Is anybody... Fuck. They might want to go see uh, the new Aladdin. Fuck no. <laughs> I didn't want to see the first. That's not true. I like the first one. I, I haven't <laughs> seen the first one. You were one. about to say, really? I, you were about no. to say, I don't like the first one, but then you were like, wait a minute, Robin Williams. No, no, no. Genie. No. no, I did not think that. That's Fuck you, I Robin think. Williams. I'm glad you're dead. What? Fuck I you. I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, didn't did mean you, that. You cut out. I didn't out. mean that. I didn't mean that. <laughs> Full stop for just a second. Yeah. You cut out when we talked about Robin Williams being dead in the one episode. What? In the bat episode. Ice cream. Ice cream. I think it was ice Liquid cream. Liquid ice cream? Yeah, yeah we talked no, about No, I didn't. That's in yeah. there. No, no, no. The part when we talked about you, we you put lots in the part where we said Robin Williams, but the part where he's like, you fucking dead. You took that part out. I don't remember that part. We at talked all. about his suicide. Yeah, you edited it out. 
<laughs> you do that. you do that sometimes though, where it's like you'll you'll bring up somebody who's dead. And he's like he's fucking dead though. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you do. It's like Bruce Lee's I fucking dead. Knew, yeah, I, I'm, I don't think you realize it sometimes. All I want to do is hang out with dead guys. Apparently, apparently. that's why I want to be a skeleton. Maybe I'll join them. I want to hang out day. with Genghis Khan. <laughs> I wouldn't hang out with Genghis Khan. That'd be fucking awful. Wait, He'd like wait. carve my head off and like feed me to dogs or not something. Not if you're not an asshole to him. Oh, I'd be an asshole to Genghis Khan. Wait a minute. I'd be like bitch Khan. He'd That's be like, what the fuck did you say? One of, one of my favorite things <laughs> that uh, I know about uh, like the Mongols and Genghis Khan is there was this one kingdom that uh, Kingdom of Heaven. They they did something where they, they like attacked one of the Mongols' trade caravans or some shit. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And. Understandably so, the Mongols were pretty fucking upset. Yeah, but they were pretty pissed off pretty about pissed. this. Yeah, Genghis Khan was willing to give them an out. He was—he sent like three diplomats to like talk over with their king or whatever, and he was like, "Look, like we can hash this out. We can sort of you know make peace or whatever." Yeah. And the fucking king of the other kingdom or whatever mm -hmm. killed one of them and sent the other two back to give the head back to Genghis Khan. Uh huh. And so Genghis Khan took his entire fucking Mongol hordes and wiped that entire nation off the face of the planet. That doesn't surprise they, me. They like rerouted rivers and everything. They kinda, burned cities. Kind of a bad idea, isn't it? To be like the guy, a fellow named Genghis Khan, rolls up at your door. <laughs> Send him guy, back. You he should do what he should have done. He should have cut off two of their heads. And that way the one guy could hold them both up with both hands. Three wise guys. They weren't thinking theatrically back then. They really should have. Fucking idiots. Mongols are fucking great. <laughs> Could you imagine the two guys walking back and they're like, I've been carrying the head for like... Yeah, they're like trading off. <laughs> <laughs> carrying that for like two hours. You take it. Like, yeah. no, I don't want to. I'm tired. Like, I carried it twice as long as you did, motherfucker. I'm not I wonder, carrying it anymore. I wonder if they thought like on the way back, like, they, they were kind of like, I don't know, being like, oh, I don't even know. I, I, what? I haven't even thought about what... I'm losing what Mongols speak? They speak uh, Chinese food, Colin. Okay. <laughs> I just wonder if they knew, like, on the walk back, how fucked these guys were. You know, like how, like, how much Genghis Khan was gonna fuck them up. Oh, that's true too. You I know? don't know. Would they be worried? That we should make a movie about that. The two guys that brought the one head back to Genghis Khan, and they're traveling between. <laughs> the, the ending is they hold the head up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Genghis Khan is like, Ooh. and that's the end. Yeah. And Genghis Khan is Arnold. <laughs> And it's secretly a King Conan movie. <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and he cuts the credits. He cuts the credits. Exactly. And it plays the fucking Kirby Enthusiasm music at the very end. <laughs> the end credits. You know how, like, I don't know, like, a lot of, like, documentaries and, like, music movies have yeah. done for the credits and then, like, the guy performing the real-life footage. Like, what? I've never seen that. What? Yeah, yeah what the fuck they'll, they'll have like about? They'll have, like, real-life footage, and then they'll have, like, the credits rolling down. Like, interpretive dance. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I don't know why you did that weird... <laughs> yeah. You're just talking about documentary footage where it's like, and so... No, uh, I'm talking uh, about, like, they'll, they'll have the... Kill the they'll have, like, the credits. Yeah. Like, everybody who played, like, the real-life person, but then next to it will have, like, the real-life events. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, you mean, yeah, like, yeah, they'll yeah. have, like, the, uh... Yeah. They'll either have, like, a still picture with, like, a caption, or mm -hmm. they'll have, like, you know, historical footage or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like in something fucking like Flags of Our Fathers, all the flags of the fathers. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, one the six. credits of the two guys, and, uh -huh. like, the guy who got... Who cut the head off? Yeah. Like they'll be scrolling. <laughs> they'll be fucking like. And then they'll be war footage. The they'll be war footage of Genghis Khan cutting, imagine. going around cutting people's heads off, doing the war. <laughs> if anything, it'd probably be like a like a Seth Rogen comedy or something like that. Fuck that! It's a Midnight Elves comedy. Yeah, a, and we're going to direct a, it. Yeah. It's fuck probably, Seth no, Rogen. I'll tell you what it is. It's, a, it's be, a Will Ferrell, John C. Riley comedy. There can't be. Well, that, I would also say that Holmes and Watson is another Midnight Elves movie. However, I will say that. Um, Oh shit, I for fucking forgot what I was gonna say. You thought about Seth Rogen and Midnight Elves comedy? Yeah, I don't like Seth Rogen very much. Has anybody seen uh, In Holmes and life? Watson? Yeah, we fucking yeah, loved it. We it was did. hilarious. It was, yeah. We everybody, laughed. everybody else hated it, apparently. Dude, I, never I have a theory it. as to why. I hate critics so much. Listen, yeah, I have yeah. a theory Zane's as to why. theory is legitimately really good. I have a legitimate theory is that <laughs> in the first. Ten minutes, something like that. Yeah. It's very early, it's maybe really even on. eight minutes. Yeah, it's really early on. John, uh, not John C. Reilly, um Will Ferrell is wearing a "Make England Great Again" hat. Yeah, but not only that, but multiple points throughout the rest of the movie, including early on, early enough to where you can walk out the theater and get your money back early. Yeah, they'll make jo political jokes, but it never just attacks one side. It's always like, it's always double sided. It's always double sided, yeah. where it's like the woman's like. 
uh, uh, fucking uh, women make however many percentage off a dollar versus men making a whole yeah. dollar. Yeah. But then they'll turn around and she's like killing all her patients, indicating she's yeah. a, indicating <laughs> she's, she's bad a bad doctor. Yeah, yeah. It's so very... it, it's it's attacking both sides yeah. of the political spectrum, and I think that people were pissed off about that. So they, they were pissed just, off both parties. Yeah, guess, they they yeah. pissed off both parties. That's what good comedy does, though. Like South yeah. Park. Is oh, exactly. Of that. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. the best comedies will attack all Hi, sides. Chelsea. It was legitimately funny, though. I was yeah. I was surprised. Me and, me and Zane got it with the intention to be like, he's going to be so fucking stupid. Yeah, for but real. We, we were like actually laughing at it multiple the, times. The B scene is worth seeing the yeah. movie alone for. John C. Riley has like PTSD. Because, I mean, as you know, Watson is a fucking retired army yeah, he's a, medic. Yeah, yeah. But, uh... When they break the bees open, he like he pulls out his guns like within like half of a second and immediately starts to try to shoot like this thousand bees that are in the air. <laughs> and uh, and at various parts throughout the movie, like if anybody says anything to Will Ferrell that he doesn't like, he'll like slowly pull out his gun. Yeah, he's like super <laughs> overprotective. Yeah. And so I'll be like, Will Ferrell that uh Will Ferrell will be like, um uh, Holmes. Holmes, yeah. Yeah, I'll yeah, be like, yeah. Holmes, you reek of shit. And Watson will just be like, he'll grab for his Gotta pull it out real quick. <laughs> In the courtroom scene, uh, the judge is like, they're just like, I really hope you've got good evidence this time, Holmes. And like, fucking John C. Raleigh, like, he's not even like the focus of it kind of thing, but he gives him like a side eye, like crazy eye. And he slowly pulls out his gun and Holmes has to put it back. <laughs> that was the second, that was my second favorite part yeah. of the whole movie, was not that, but uh, it was a scene where in the park and they're with the crazy lady. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, I know there's going to be a joke where they cut back and she's doing something in the background as they're having yeah. the regular dialogue, but I don't know what it is. Maybe like eating something out of the dirt yeah. or like she's like, or like she's like a cat woman. Yeah, she's yeah, like yeah. fucking weird like this. Yeah. Fucking... I, I can't remember last time I've actually even watched a comedy movie even or a good comedy movie. Like, I don't know. I, I just yeah. never seen a... Those never the kind of movies really that I didn't pick them up. Much, yeah. Not they, really, they, yeah. They, don't, they yeah. don't make them a whole lot. Go ahead, though. Yeah, but like I, I kept waiting for. It. I knew they were gonna do something. Like she was gonna be eating something out of the dirt. Yeah. Or she would be like sniffing John C. Raleigh's hair or something yeah. weird. They cut back and she's got a fucking what's it called? A croquet like, mallet. She's got a croquet mallet and she's swinging it at random extras in the background. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it, it isn't like they cut back and that's what she's doing. It's like they're still having the discussion and all the way in the top left corner, yeah. this yeah. little box you can just see her swing the hammer at somebody. It was exactly like that short you and me and Justin did, Colin. When you were in Which the, one? When you were in the back with Dark Nature, when you and fucking Justin. Or, oh, you, yeah, when I was swinging the tripod. Front, and you were swinging the tripod yeah, in the uh -huh. field, like way shit in the Shit like back. that is always <laughs> funny, you know, like. I know. The non sequitur shit that's happening in the background. Yeah. Uh -huh. You miss if you fucking aren't looking. Yeah. This is turning to a movie podcast. This is going to probably be fine as a full episode. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, um... Was there anything else you wanted to say about Tom Fiddlestein? What the fuck was his name? Tom what? Cruise? He was talking about Tom Cruise, like he had... Like, no, 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 I was just saying yeah, that Tom yeah. Cruise, Tom Cruise is fucking, like, people give him too much of a bad rap. Well, you, you mentioned earlier about movies, like, cause you, you said you went into Homes and Wops and fully expecting it to be bad. Yeah. yeah. The last movie that happened with, uh, to me like that yeah. was Dark Phoenix, and I was fully expecting it to be bad... And it was even worse than my expectations. Because <laughs> like, I, I had seen the reviews and everything like yeah. that. And I was like, well, maybe it'll have some good fight scenes here and there. Yeah, yeah. And there was maybe like one. Yeah. And In then the everything movie? else was Did it just... involve Nightcrawler? Uh, there was a Nightcrawler scene. I was more waiting to... I was like hoping that there was going to be more Magneto. Yeah. Uh, they need to make a fucking... Pre they Okay. Well, there's not going to be it. an opportunity now. I know that Disney has it now, but God damn. Does Disney have it now? Yeah. Yes. Well, that's, that's the end of X-Men. That's the that, last X-Men I heard thing. that that's apparently one of the reasons why this movie was so fucking terrible. Oh, yeah. It's because it was, like, being produced while the merger was occurring. This movie has been fucking in development for, like, I want to say, like, four years or something. Like, yeah. a really long, like, since Days of Future Past, they've been yeah, working I saw, on this fucking I saw a thing. Post... Could you imagine... Or Apocalypse, sorry. Sorry to cut you off, but just for mm -hmm. one second, could yeah. you imagine if, if Days of Future Past is the last one and that was the end? That's what I was talking about. That should have been the fun... That should have been the conclusion. It would have been... Or Logan. Logan even would have been a good, Like, I don't even like Logan as much as Days of Future Past, but that would have been a fitting conclusion to the whole thing. Because mm -hmm. that way... All the X-Men have their conclusion, and the, everyone's favorite character, Wolverine, has their has his conclusion. 
Yeah, I guess this movie, it was just entirely unnecessary. Like, it just felt like yeah. it was Fox just be like, well, we have the rights for, like, a little while longer. Let's yeah. just shit out a movie. Sophie Turner is not a fucking good actress either. She does. Though. She's not a... She is not a good enough actor to carry a movie. She does the things that all the new Game of Thrones actors do where they stare into the camera a lot with their mouth open and it's like, wow, she's acting now. Like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> same uh-huh. same yeah. with, uh, what's her name, Jennifer Lawrence? Yes, yes, Jennifer I, I used to like Jennifer Lawrence, but then I was like, oh, she's the same fucking character in every movie she plays. I mean, there's just like... Or she acts the same, at least. Except for an American Hustle, but I don't like But yeah, movie. it's like everything about this movie was fucking abysmal. Like, yeah. the, uh, the the dialogue, the, the actual story, the action scenes, every single part of it was Dude, just shit. I cannot stand how they downgraded... Like, I've talked to you about this before, Colin, and I think you too, Zane, but how much they've downgraded Beast... From his real, like practical yeah, effects uh-huh. from first class, I think about that all the time and how much it fucking. What was uh, me what off. was the actor's name who played uh, Nicholas Bruce? Holt? He, it, no, I no in the uh, the original trilogy. Oh, uh, Kelsey Grammer. Kelsey Grammer. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Oh, his effects were cool. In three, he was like the best part. He looked like fucking beast Fuck from, yeah, the, uh-huh. from the comic and the cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because and that's Nicholas Holt. I just. Don't. I don't have a problem with Nicholas Holt. I just don't like I don't, that they... I don't have a problem with him. I just don't think that he's good as Beast. Fair enough. Did they replace Beast? Did I miss something? Well, Beast is Kelsey Grammer in X-Men 3. Yeah. But in the new, like, from first class on, it's been Nicholas Holt. He was great in the first one, I thought, as a he's young a, he's one. He's a good actor. I just don't think that he fits, like, the general physique that I, I want Oh, I agree with that. Be, I agree. That's why I liked it in first class, because he's, he's supposed to be, like, a kid in that. Yeah, Not but a kid, then he but he's never really be really young. Yeah, but then he's always just kind of like yeah. skinny, lanky guy. Like yeah. he never really. Cousin Grammar up. really is the fucking perfect casting for that mm. for for him. Remember, he's a fucking monster, dude. Remember in X Men Three when Beast went to touch the cancer patient and his beastness went away? Yeah. No. Yeah, I remember that. What? It was like in the beginning of the movie. Yeah, they yeah. find the little cancer patient that can cure X Men. It was he was the mutant who was like the antithesis of all mutants. He's the anti mutant. That's where oh. they got the cure for mutants. Wasn't from. that a little kid? Yeah, it was. The a cancer kid. patient. Uh huh. Okay. He calls him a cancer patient because he had no fucking hair. Let's and he re- looked like he had cancer. He looked like a cancer patient. Let's rewrite all the X Men movies right now. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna highlight. We literally cannot go a single fucking episode without talking about X Men or Cerebro. Wait a minute! I, I, I saw Chappie. Wolverine finally got to wear Cerebro. He does. He got to wear Cerebro. <laughs> it was like the most exciting moment. He had to wear Cerebro to tap into the moose. It was so great. Oh my god! Yeah, it's all coming back to me. I've only seen Chappie once. Yeah. But... Same. I've only seen it since we all saw it together. <laughs> Anyway, so let's, yeah. let's rewrite X Men right now. I'm gonna okay, we're only gonna do one movie though. This is the ultimate X Men. I thought movie. this was like the whole series, no, like no, no, summed no. up, like sum it up. No, no, we're rewriting. Okay, the How, one, the ultimate. Up, my my biggest like, change. I read the comics. I read like one X Men. Who gives comic. a shit? Big, that makes it even better. Biggest change right now. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter if it's mm-hmm. one movie or a whole series. Talk to me. Highlight Wolverine. Delete him. Delete Wolverine from the. Delete, delete, delete Wolverine. Wolverine. All That's right? what they did though. Control A Wolverine. Delete. That's what, that's what happened in this replaced. movie. There was no Wolverine, and you know what? It was dog shit. <laughs> Wolverine.exe delete. Command prompt moose. Cerebro summon. Wolverine's gone forever. There you go. Gone. 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 Control it's A. Over. The next step. Control A. Jean Grey. Delete it. Yes. Just delete it. Just get rid of yes. it. Yes. Just get rid of it. We don't need it anymore. All right. We're going to, you know what we're going to do? Yeah. Step, step we're gonna, three. You make Cyclops like a Captain America character. Listen. No. There you go. I'm typing. It's too late. What do we got? All right, Cyclops. This is post Jean Grey death. Yes. In its own continuity, Cyclops. Are we just, are, is this just what we want this for is, the next X Men? This, this, this is the this new X Men. This is this is I've got Fox on the horn. This is a dramatic thriller. No, fuck Fox. It's Marvel now. This is a dr- this, fuck about this is a dramatic. Th- those are all the rights. This is a dramatic thriller with action elements. It oh is, yeah. It's a post Jean Grey death. Yeah. She isn't coming back. Yeah. Thank God. Cyclops has to deal with the death of his love while still leading the X-Men. And he has to come to terms with his feelings that he's had felt for Nightcrawler for some time now. <laughs> Kurt, Kurt Wagner. Kurt Wagner wants to go inside on Scott Summer's asshole. Do you think Nightcrawler would be really good at, like, sex? <laughs> no! He, he would he, fuck uh, you real quick and bamf out of the room. He, he's got, like... I don't know, I forget who the fuck his girlfriend was in the X-Men comics. I don't remember that either. Who wants to date he that apparently, fucking smelly I remember... three-toed fuck? Alright, listen, here's what Nightcrawler <laughs> would do. He'd be fucking you missionary, and then yes. his tail would swoop in and go into your butthole. 
His tail's sharp, though. He cuts people. Yeah. Away. He cuts yeah. in half. Yeah. Like seven. But no, you know what he would do? He would just ram his tail into a dildo. Yeah. And he would just fuck you with it. Sophie's, you, Sophie's, Sophie's calling upset. you out. You said dildo. <laughs> Dad said dildo. <laughs> anyway, um, there you go. X-Men. <laughs> Cats are like snakes when they hiss at you. Yeah. Cyclops comes to terms with his homosexuality, the movie. God damn it, they already did that to Iceman. Can we stop <laughs> making X-Men gay? Professor who's, X is also who's gay. Who's your favorite X-Man? Or X, X-Woman? Because there was a line in the new movie about What's your that. favorite... Wait, 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 hey. What's your favorite X-Man and what's your favorite X-Woman? Okay. Okay. Better yeah. question. Yeah. Um, fuck, I don't know. It's a toss-up for me. Okay, let's say you can't count Wolverine. Of course. Why, oh, can't yeah. you, why can't you count Wolverine? Can't count Wolverine. Because, because, because that's like everybody likes Wolverine. That's like because I just I just highlighted him and, and Wolverine.exe, he's, he's gone. gone. He's gone. Yeah. I mean, Wolverine's fucking Optimus. Like, everybody likes him. No, no fucking shit. Yeah, <laughs> you don't even need to say it. Uh-huh. My, uh, It's a toss up. I go either way. A Nightcrawler or a Beast are my favorite. Uh, I love blue hairy fucks. What's your favorite ex woman? Mm-hmm. Jubilee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you. Uh, I actually don't know if that's true. Go ahead. Can I count Magneto? No, Mystique is my favorite. I like all the blue ones. Oh, what? <laughs> Mag- oh big surprise! No, 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 like no, blue no, things. no, no leaders either. No leaders either. Because yes, Magneto is just like Magneto. That, that was mine. I was no, gonna say you Cyclops. You can't say Magneto. No, that that counts. He's an X Man. He's the leader of the X Man. Right. That's fine. Magneto doesn't count. I guarantee you, Magneto, at some point, at some point in the listen, comics, Mag- X- Magneto didn't become Magneto a good guy until was like, an X Man. Magneto at some point. didn't become Has a good been. guy until like 2008. Anyway. We're talking about students in the building, students and professors. You could you could argue right. that Magneto was you can't argue Charles's, shit out of your Charles's own first dick. student. <laughs> That's not true either. <laughs> Taught him in bed. <laughs> they were part of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eric. Oh, Eric! Eric! Oh, here, let me I'm gonna out. fucking come! <laughs> <laughs> that was why That was why he left, because after Charles lost his legs and he couldn't yeah. feel anything down right. there, he couldn't get it up, and so, Eric was like, well, fine, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm, gonna I'm help, done I'm, with this. I'm gonna help you out. These are my picks. I'm gonna say Cyclops and Storm. Okay. Alright. You um, gotta pick, you gotta, it's gotta be students or professors. Uh, Colossus would probably be my X Man. That's, that's a good one. Like yeah, Colossus. That's a good one, yep. Yeah. Uh, as far as. X woman goes. Uh, I don't really, I can't really remember a whole lot of them. Kitty Pride next. The Kitty Pride was the one that I was thinking of just because she goes like hand in hand with Colossus. She, she goes, she goes hand in hand, 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 in, hand. hand in ass. She could make her finger go through you, and yeah. then she could make you reappear again inside your belly and tickle your insides. You ever think about that, Colin? Uh, I don't really think I want to. She could tickle your stomach and make you throw up. <laughs> She can, make, she can tickle your prostate and make your wiener throw up. girlfriend. You don't have to... Okay, here's the thing, right? You go on a date with Kitty Pride. You go to the movie theater. She hides inside of your body. You only buy a ticket for one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's saving your money the whole time. No, what? She would just grab me and we would face through the wall. We wouldn't spend any money. That's true. Yeah, but then you get caught. No. Uh-huh. You get caught. The cops shoot you because they hate mutants. Because <laughs> <laughs> then she grabbed me and we Dude, blow to face so us. That's something that really fucking bothered me about Dark Phoenix. Yeah. Is so... And, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and fucking spoil it if you guys are okay spoil with it. You don't fucking I don't care. care. Fuck, spoilers uh, for spoilers. X-Men Dark Phoenix. Turn turn back now, Sophie Turner. It's not like a really fucking I like how matters. we're giving a spoiler warning for Dark Phoenix. We did not give a spoiler warning for Endgame. It's been fucking long enough. <laughs> this is Endgame is fucking everyone in the world saw it. Everybody in the is, yeah. Nobody's gonna see a fucking Phoenix. Yeah. Uh, I just and if find you do, funny. I mean, you're gonna be disappointed regardless. And if you do like it, then I don't understand what the fuck Can't is wrong with you. Wait to see Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker. Uh, Go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Uh, as the Grifter. What yeah. But so the move it it starts with. Where you know the the government is is cool with X Men. You know the, the movie starts with like that they save like a space shuttle or whatever. Yeah, yeah, you know? they're saving a NASA space shuttle. Yeah, uh huh. And then everybody's like, oh, the X Men are fucking heroes. You know, uh, we fucking love you. You know, Charles, come out. We'll give you fucking medals and whatnot. <laughs> Charles, come out. Yeah, and come uh, out, Charles. Then like shit starts to hit the fan. Of course, they have their own like internal struggles. Like the government has. No idea what the fuck is going on, sort of, like, you know, between them personally. And they have, like, one little scuffle on, like, the streets of New York. As soon as that happens, the entire country despises mutants again. They flip-flop so so easily. It's like, as soon as that (laughs) happens, it's like, you know what, the X-Men, you're fucking... We're gonna, what was the scuffle They start putting them in camps again. What was the scuffle? What was the scuffle? They, like, and it was one of the worst action scenes I've ever seen. Who stole whose juice? Uh, so it was, 
there's the main antagonist is the aliens. Because what? What aliens? There's aliens. Okay. Because is it the same aliens the that fucking or whatever his, happens? The Professor Xavier's legs in the comics. I don't know anything about that. He threw a big rock at him and broke his fucking legs. That's why what? Professor X is crippled. I'm not oh. kidding. Okay, cool. Look it up. Comic.com. But uh, <laughs> no, it's but, well, Jean gets like the the uh, fancy Phoenix Force <clears throat> like when she's in space or whatever, and then like these aliens show up and they're like, "We're tracking it." Didn't she have an apocalypse? <laughs> Uh no, she didn't. That was I don't the real understand. I don't remember Apocalypse like at all. At the end of Apocalypse, she went ah! and the fucking eagle came behind her. I don't remember that at all. Yeah, no, I guess that was like useless foreshadowing. That was behind uh, the scenes. Yeah. Remember the end of X two when after she died and they did the panning shot over the water and you could see the phoenix yeah. under the water. That was cool. Well, that's a, the same. <laughs> I, I told you earlier. <laughs> X two X2 is cool. The same guy who wrote. <laughs> X3 yeah. was the same guy who wrote Dark Phoenix. Brian, must be fucking Brian Singer's fucking boyfriend. I forget what I the hell understand. it is. It's not Brian Singer, but it's like, yeah. I well, just no, I'm saying the director. I don't understand where it's like, it didn't work well the first time. <laughs> Why give it to him a second time? Certain characters don't fucking translate to the big screen. I mean, it's Quite also, honestly. apparently, like, the whole Dark Phoenix saga is, like, a really, like, long-running series that you yeah. can't... It's very fucking long. That's Put why in like our reboot, movie. I said, is past it. We're, we're gonna get over it. It's You're already good. done. So, get like I was it. saying about how they flip-flop. Yeah. Uh, it, it was like that. They were, like, one day. They were. It, it all happened in, like, one day. It could have been the same day, for all I know, where mm -hmm. it was, like, they're heroes, and then, like, six hours later, we're shipping them on a train to some internment camp. <laughs> like, all of them. You know? As my needle's like, this rings a bell. <laughs> I was about to say, I was about to say uh -huh. not again. No, because they, they fight on like this random city street because the aliens are trying to convince Gene to be like, come on, use the Phoenix What force. do the aliens look like? Are they gray aliens with big black eyes? Uh, they have a design that is immediately thrown out because they're shapeshifters. I so hate that So they all just turn shit. into regular people. Jesus Christ. The new Men in Black looks like fucking dog shit, right? Uh -huh. But the, the, the villains in the thing that's revealed in the trailer are these things called... It's like the Hive or some fucking... They look like some, generic alien number 2084. No, no, no. It's like some fucking Destiny ripoff No, I'm, I'm talking about name. Dark Phoenix. Well, I'm talking about the Men in Black trailer, because that shit... What? Have you seen Men in Black 3? No. No. It was actually pretty good. Anyway, uh, go to menandblack3.com, pre-order now. You can, uh... When you're looking at... When you're looking at the, the trailer now. for it, Liam Neeson's like, oh, yeah, they're they're the shape-shifting aliens. It's like, oh, wow, so they're just going to look like fucking people the whole time. Like, that's fun and boring. Why the fuck do people do that shit? It's boring. I think because it's, people don't feel like doing the money, thing again. Why. It's fucking ridiculous. It is. It is fucking ridiculous. It seriously ridiculous. is. Shape-shifting no, hasn't been fun the, since... Like, Mystique is interesting Nineteen eighty. And she what dies. Does thing come out? She, she dies, dies in the first half hour. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah. I didn't expect that. How does that work? I thought, I mean, she's alive in X1 through 3. Is it a separate, I'm confused now. Dude. It's a separate thank timeline. You. <laughs> I think. It is? Yeah. Is I don't it? fucking know. Because I thought in Days of Future Past, they like fucking like reset everything. They did. Yeah, so. It's like a completely different So timeline. whatever happens, it inevitably is, everything is going to fix itself. So it's like that different. It becomes that again somehow. <laughs> Or we can just nobody say, any, who is the first X-Man? Nobody had any foresight when making these movies. Yeah. No the, foresight. Who was no the first X-Man? Apocalypse. Cyclops? Apocalypse was the first X-Man. Iceman. Right. <laughs> well, let's see if I can actually get this. Cy Cyclops, mm -hmm. Iceman, Beast, Angel, and Phoenix. I don't remember her name. I don't remember her name. <laughs> What's the name of that one midget in Marvel that's not Beast, but he's short and hairy? Like the OG Wolverine? Beast was? What? No. <laughs> He's like fucking. I forget his name. I don't know. He sucks though. There you go, podcast. The dog in an X Men costume. It's <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a movie I would fucking watch. Brian Singer would. Ne he doesn't have the fucking capability or ability. Everybody, to everybody thinks he's a mutant. It's just a fucking dog. Just a dog. <laughs> yeah. Charles is like roll, wheeling around the X Mansion, being like, "You will tap into your no, power." Wait, my, one I want to change my answer from earlier. My favorite X Man is I forget what his name is, and I think that's the whole point. There's this guy whose power is that everybody forgets that he exists. <laughs> so he's just like I am that X Man, and it's like. <laughs> If you if you like come into contact with him as soon as like he leaves your like field of vision or whatever you completely forget he exists. Is his name Goldfish? Because it could be. It could be. It could be. Goldfish have short memories, by the way. Podcast. 
For those of you kids that didn't get the joke. That's a myth.com. Visit it, you'll find out. Okay, the goldfish actually have really good memories. Goldfish are known for drawing. People. They draw cities from... They, they do that thing where they put the goldfish on the helicopter and fly over the city, then the goldfish recreates the city sky. <laughs> he just, just holds the goldfish in his hand as they fly over. A single goldfish all gives him a, up and shit. Gives him so, a courtesy dunk. So in conclusion, go see Dark Phoenix. <laughs> uh, so, go see Dark Phoenix. So you, can, your you money. can see a prime example of how shit a movie can actually be. Yeah. Fuck you, Brian. The, <laughs> the budget for the film is eight hundred billion dollars. It's made four so far. It's made four dollars. So it made, it made it was something like that. that. That's actually not that far off. Eight hundred billion had, dollars, Colin. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That was a budget. <laughs> That's like seventeen thousand countries per one. They, they, they had, they had to. Uh, uh, in they order had to invest in the shape changing technology for all of the, <laughs> for all of the mystique scenes. That actually shape. her like changing. Yeah. They you had know, to destroy all it the afterwards, afterwards, so it didn't fall to the wrong hands. <laughs> there's a there's there's a fight scene in the fight scene in the street. Uh, Charles is there, and then some other unnamed mutant, which also has mind powers, and they're trying to <laughs> control Kurt into, like, coming to them. Kurt? Uh, Kurt like Cobain, Cohen? he's an like X-Man. Yeah, to, like, because... <laughs> they're trying to control because, Kurt Cobain from blowing his brains out a little Because Charles is, like, he's in a wheelchair, and so he has absolutely nothing he can do combat-wise. Uh, so he's trying he, to get he Kurt, can, to, he he's trying to, get Kurt to come to him so he can, like, uh, teleport him around and stuff like that. He's like, Kurt, get over here. But the other <laughs> chick is like, no, I'm going to get in Kurt's mind. So the entire fight is them just doing, like, it's putting like their fingers on their It's like a fucking South Park episode where just, they have the ESP battle. Just, exactly. <laughs> no, 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 no. exactly what it is. And then Kurt's just kind of, like, standing there in the middle of the street, like, Ehh! he's fucking torn between Why are they trying things. to contain him? Well, because Charles is trying to get him to come over to him so that he can, like, get him, so he can move Charles around or whatever. Why doesn't? Why this is so weird. It's okay. fucking horrible. How come Charles doesn't just wheel his wheelchair up, take him, put him on his lap, and then wheel him I don't away. know, in the same fight... Why does Charles have a fucking wheelchair if he can use his mind to levitate around everywhere like dark same, side? In the same fight, the Next fight begins question. because Beast, like, he goes... Because he knows that Gene is in the building across the street. He goes, I'm gonna go kill Gene. Those right. are his, like, exact words. He's like, Beast I'm gonna kill that? Gene. Beast says that. Beast wants to kill Gene Grey. Why? Because he kill, she kills Mystique. <laughs> well, do you need a reason? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That, She's bitch. the reason Mystique dies. <laughs> Um, and so Beast never actually the man's wife, Beast either. actually goes and finds Magneto and is like, "Yo, Gene killed Mystique. You come with me. Let's go kill Gene." <laughs> He's like, "Hey!" And they get the big X Men. <laughs> That's exactly what happens for the most. Part. I heard there's this like, uh, but no, it's it's hilarious because he starts to run across the street. And he gets hit by a car. Beast does? Beast gets hit by a fucking car. All of by, his, like, Because fuck, of Magneto. No, because like of all <laughs> of his, he's, I don't know, it was the worst fucking action scene and the worst misuse of all of their powers. That's weird, man. Like Cyclops is firing off fucking laser beams <clears throat> and he's so inaccurate and he's like causing all this collateral damage. That's and shit. another reason why Days of Future Past should have been the fucking last X was the first X-Men movie where everybody's using their powers. Yeah. And it all flows together. They use their powers to help each other. Yeah. That They're was all, all great. I, I fucking love that. And movie. it wasn't it wasn't like a like it wasn't like a corny like all right, guys, we have to band together. <laughs> it wasn't like a yeah. Power Rangers moment. They were just doing it, and it was all yeah. great. They didn't all line up, and fucking Magneto was like, X-Men! <laughs> <laughs> he fucking whispered it. Magne In the same fight, I keep coming back to this because it's just, it blows my mind how fucking terrible it was. You, yeah. Honestly, it's, you're making me want to watch You it. should go. Yeah, I, I, I kind of encourage people to watch it just for how I bad it is. I want to see it for the podcast. Yeah. Um, and... In the fight, so it's on a street, there's metal cars all over the place, tons of shit, tons of fucking metal everywhere for Magneto to They're manipulate. in a city, right? Or yeah. A, a so, you know, or so you know what Magneto decides is a good idea? He takes out a gun and fucking kills Brian He's Sanders. like, you know what, let me drag up a train car from the subway. Let okay. me drag it up through the street for okay. no fucking reason. Yeah. Other than the fact that I guess that he just could show that he could do it. Yeah. To like ram it into the building. Yeah. There's at least like a dozen cars... Within, you know, grabbing distance, but yeah. he says, nah, fuck that. Let me drag up this fucking train. <laughs> oh my god, you know, he needs a fucking nail to kill things. Like, that's, yeah. that's all he needs. He used truthfully. the fucking pendant in Apocalypse. He uses a penny in fucking that, in X Men 1. Yeah, that was a fucking great scene. He rolls the fucking coin to the guy's head. Slowly. That was, yeah. a, that was first class. That was on 1. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. My favorite scene in Dark Phoenix is when 
Magneto's standing there with a the yeah. jar of pickles. Yes. And he opens it. Yeah. But but it's he's like, he can't get it open. Yeah. And then Jean Grey walks up mm-hmm. and she's like, I'll teach you how to do it, son. <laughs> and she opens it and then Magneto's like, thanks, girl. And he takes yeah. out a pickle and he, it's like, that's a good pickle. And he yeah. starts to eat it. And then he's swallowed, but he gets caught in his larynx, and he's like, oh! Yeah. <laughs> he fucking dies. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pickles explode all over the floor. He's sitting in a puddle of vinegar and fucking sadness. Magneto's like, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my, my my powers to levitate myself to the hospital. Yeah. But he, the only metal he was wearing was his helmet, so he just decapitated himself. <laughs> he picked himself up. <laughs> no. It's funny you bring that up, because I was just thinking about my favorite scene, okay? Do you guys remember the part where Professor X is sleeping in his bed? Like, yeah. And all of a sudden, he, he, he looks up and he sees his wheelchair, and it's like, slowly going away from him, kind of thing. And then the door shuts, and he hears like, skittling up the wall. <laughs> Beast gets into bed with him, and he says, I want to show you why we call him, they call me Beast. <laughs> There's a, there's a scene in Dark Phoenix where uh, <laughs> Professor X is trying to convince Jean to not give in to the Dark Phoenix. That is the gayest that <coughs> anyone has ever said. Really. That's not. I just made. Well, yeah, I might as well have found the movie. <laughs> I mean, that's funny as shit that that's what's <laughs> happening. But uh, so what she decides to do is she decides to force his crippled body to walk upstairs towards her. It's hilarious. And they, they show it, you know, with the horrible, yeah. like, cripple walk, you know, where his legs, like, don't actually work. Are you saying work. that cripples are disgusting, Colin? You can't say that. Well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually... No, I'm actually... I'm actually fucking lying, though. Like, uh... Realistically, I'd have to say my favorite part is when, um... There's the flashback to, uh... Magneto's childhood before he's taken out of the ghetto in uh, Germany and whatnot, and the SS officer actually fucking picks him up by his neck and throws him into the back of the truck. And when Magneto turns around, he pulls out a nice, tall, crisp Gamerade. He unscrews it, <laughs> takes a sip, and says, mm-mm, fucking, I love Gamerade. <laughs> You've had Gatorade, now try Gamerade. <laughs> For all your gaming needs. Do you like watching X-Men in the dark with your dick out? Drink some some Gamerade. I was watching X-Men with my dick in my head. And I needed to hydrate. Oh my god damn, it's fucking hot in here. I wish I had some fucking Gamerade. I'll tell you that much. I've got the last bottle. Sweet. You motherfucker, you gotta drink it all. Just gonna... Here, here. What's some? Who is that? You want to hear the beautiful sound of Gamerade? How about a crisp Gamerade? Well, I think I gotta go to the bathroom and start pissing. <laughs> doesn't, make yourself, a, doesn't make a good noise. You got yourself some hydration. <laughs> That's what you needed to get through the last couple minutes of the podcast. <laughs> you need to just edit in a <laughs> <laughs> big slurp. It's not <laughs> <a> toilet flushing. <laughs> And then, <laughs> and then Kirby's suction. <laughs> <laughs> now, anyway, um, this other thing that uh, Zayn and I were talking about the other day, Colin. I'm sure this has happened to you too. Don't you hate it when fucking people will be like, "Oh, you, you love this thing," because they know like one small thing about you. Like in the past, I've gotten like a couple years ago. I'm a big Batman fan for all the for all the fans that don't know that already. But, um, my sister got me this big fucking mirror that was in the shape of a bat symbol. And I was like, what the fuck am I gonna do with this? <laughs> like, dead serious. I just don't understand how some people reduce you to, like, a single attribute. Just because they don't know you very well, I guess. I feel like when people use that phrase, like, you'll love this. Yeah. It means, like, kind of like you said, they don't know you very well. And exactly. And immediately it's gonna be something I hate. Yeah. It very rarely does it pan out very well. Uh-huh. Uh, it happened to me two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the, it's happened to me since, but uh, yeah. two years ago, my aunt said she was watching on Netflix. It's Netflix exclusive. That was Talon Harbaugh. 
two years ago. Yeah, the game the game rates <laughs> fucking with my head. <laughs> Side effects include nausea, yeah. vomiting, diarrhea. Kill yourself. <laughs> you didn't list off. You list off all the all the symptoms that Pepto Bismol gets rid of. Ingredients. <laughs> Game rate oh, breaks all back. Pepto Bismol is sold. <laughs> Ingredients. Kick ass and a good attitude. Symptoms include <laughs> nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, and diarrhea. All at the same time. Anyway. <laughs> Yay! So two years ago, my aunt said, "Hey Zane, I was watching this show on Netflix. It's a Netflix exclusive mm -hmm. called the." Santa Clarita Diet. Yeah. And it's about a family where the wife is a zombie. You love zombies. You would love it. <laughs> and I was thinking about this in the shower like yeah. two days ago. Yeah. Th those exact words running through my head when my aunt recommended it to me while I was washing my hair. Yeah. And I visibly went, what? Ugh. <laughs> I made I made an audible sighing noise in the shower. An audible audible noise of disgust. Yeah, yeah. It's just like stuff like that is I mean, I get it. Their intentions are good. They're just yeah, trying yeah, to find yeah, a way yeah, to yeah. connect, I suppose, but it's just it, I don't want to say patronizing either cuz that also is kind of like mean, but it's just real fucking annoying. You know what I mean? When somebody doesn't take the time to get to know you just a little bit better and they just assume that you like this stuff. I'll tell you another present I got. I fuck <laughs> Okay, so my I do not like Star Wars, by the way, podcast. I don't know if you can fucking tell that from what we've already talked about. <laughs> but, uh, my aunt one year, um, got me, uh, like, she, she got me some stuff. I'm opening up the presents, and, uh, she got me this mug, and it had a chocolate lab on it, and it said, Welcome to the Bark Side. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a chocolate lab. I never have. I don't like Star Wars. And I don't drink coffee. <laughs> It's like a triple threat. See, I I feel like that's funny. I though. feel I feel it's more funny off. in retrospect, but when you're a kid, you're like, what? Oh, you were a kid. I was young. I'm I was thinking like, you're like 22. No, no, I was like, I was like, what? I don't understand. If you got me that, I would genuinely find it hilarious. It's funny. Well, yeah, today it's funny. See, I I feel like more often than not, that that phrase itself, like you'll love this, yeah. isn't generally said, but it's expressed when somebody gives you like a gift like that where yeah. you know it, it's very obvious that they don't really know you that well yeah. or it, that they kind of I don't know they don't really I think it varies from situation it to does situation. but there's there's a particular gift that I've gotten that you know about because there was huh? some uh, drama that was called oh, because yeah, of it oh yeah I remember this go ahead it was a don't tell that side of the story just tell oh no no I just, I'll yeah, just say yeah, what yeah. it is yeah. it was, That's it was a uh, Con and I almost fucking killed each other <laughs> it was it was a it was a flask like yep. a drink flask in the shape of a and not a any flask. It was what was it a Super Nintendo cartridge? Yep. <laughs> yeah, it was a plastic flask. Yeah. And I fucking hated it. <laughs> <laughs> you might actually listen to this. I don't. I he kind of. He kind of. I also don't know if Justin listens. To I don't know if he does. Even yeah. if he does, it's just kind of. Well, I I already kind of. Like, look, it was. Fu it's useless. I. I <laughs> It's exactly. It's a, it was a. It was a waste. That's exactly. What Colin it was. is one of the most blunt people I've ever known in my life. I've city. never owned a Super Nintendo. I don't think I've ever really even played like a Super Nintendo game. It, it's a lie. It wasn't Super Nintendo. It was an original or any original even, NES because it was tall. Because I've never played like original NES. You games. know why? Because original NES fucking sucks. Uh huh. Yep. And it's like I'm also not an alcoholic. So you are an alcoholic, Colin. Colin, we've been meaning to talk to you about this. That's why I brought Zane in. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it was just like... Did you say there was two sides I don't want this? it. We're not what'd gonna you, get into what'd that. What'd you get him? Uh, no, it wasn't... What did you get him? That year, I don't quite remember what I got him. Oh. Uh, was it Green Lantern? No, that was... <laughs> I heard that was a thing. <laughs> yeah, I, no, I got that. What, did he not like those? What? No, I heard that was a thing where you and your group. I'm not part. Yeah, well, oh, the Green Lantern podcast. Yeah, I'm not part okay. of the OG group, by the way. There's, there's no, there's it's like, nothing like that. There's like yeah. two different uh -huh. groups, and there's multiple groups within multiple groups. groups. Yeah, groups within groups. But we, me, and my, me and my, my one group. What we, me and Colin, being part of that, we always exchange uh, Green Lantern DVDs to each other <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> this is funny. 
<laughs> one time, Hi. Connor went all out and got me the Green Lantern Special Edition one that had the power ring. And I still have the power ring. One of, these, <laughs> one of these days, like, if I have a lot of, like, disposable income, I'm yeah. going to see if I can't just get, like, an entire box. Like, <laughs> just, like an entire box. Like the ones they give to Walmart to put and, on the exa- show. Exactly. And you're not going to know what it is. Like, you're just going to get this big, heavy box. You're like, oh, I wonder what's inside. And you're going to oh. open it up, and it's just going to be, like, 120 <laughs> Green Lantern blue rings. you say that, you know what I want to do? I want to fucking break into his house when he's not home and get one of those Walmart displays that have all the movies on it yeah. and just fill, fill it with, it Green, fill Lantern. with Green Lanterns. <laughs> no, or no, what would be even better is if yeah. you meticulous, you didn't change them out. What you did is you went and you replaced That's every what I was single one. What you you yeah. open up every single one yeah. and you replace it with a Green Lantern blue. I would have went to fucking watch, like, I don't fucking know anything. You could really. watch like Grand Torino or something. Yeah. <laughs> Great Lantern. I'm like, wait a minute. I go up. I go up fucking the Casino Royale. It's fucking Green Lantern. Could you imagine? No, that would be. Power Curie. It's Green Lantern. <laughs> that would be a good horror movie. Like a big movie enthusiast, and yeah. he's like. He opens up Gran Torino and Lan- Green Lanterns in it. Every single it. Cover. And, oh, that's, not, that's, not, that's not the part. And then he closes it and it's Green Lantern cover and switched and there's the movie <laughs> sting. <laughs> you take it you take it one step further, you put like the disc cover art of the original movie <laughs> over the <laughs> over the Green Lantern Blu-ray. This would be so a, 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 you never like know. A week. You never know. That yeah, would be, be so be fucking funny, dude. I like the idea of like fucking being like, what the hell? And you fucking put it in the. But, here's, but here's the thing: you leave some of them. You leave some of them regular. Okay. You know, so you really throw them. So you mix it or up. Even even but worse. You never do my. Like even you wouldn't do it to Mad Max Two. Mad Max Two is getting Green Lantern. Even worse, you, you put some of the, you put some of the Green Lantern like box art on the original movies. Yes. Okay. You know. Yes. So you go to pop in like you think it's Green Lantern, but you'll never know which movie is which. Oh. I like the idea of putting in the ones that have been covered up and it fucking peels off as, I, as I insert yeah. it into my PlayStation. When it comes back out, it's just Green Lantern. I'm like, God damn it. No. I, no, I like the idea of putting it in and then Green Lantern starts to take it out and then it just changes like in the PS4. <laughs> What's happening? I don't understand. You fucking reverse engineer a label maker inside of my PlayStation without getting it any bigger so it labels it Green Lantern. Well, it was like back to like VHS where you could like splice pieces of different movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah, you'd be watching Mad Max and then, like, halfway through, <laughs> switch to Green Lantern at the climax. I love like, the what idea, the fuck? I love the idea of the climactic ending where it's about to do the, yeah. the coming on scene, and then just one shot of him doing this as Green Lantern pops in, <laughs> and it goes back to being the regular movie. <laughs> Holy fuck, we should make that a video. <laughs> famous, famous movie endings, except every ending is Green Lantern. <laughs> Egg. And then we sent it. Then we sent it to Ryan Reynolds. I like this as a horror <laughs> short. This should be. A, we should actually make this. It's like a Twilight Zone episode where the guy is. Uh, all he wants to do is read books, and he fucking hates his wife. And then he wakes up one morning, everybody's gone, and so he can. He's like, I can read all the books in the world. And then his fucking glasses fall off, and they break. It's like that, but with Green Lantern DVDs. <laughs> I can watch sure. all the movies in the world, but they're all Green Lantern. <laughs> oh um, Holy fuck. That'd be a good. That'd be a good million dollars butt question. You get a million dollars butt every movie that you watch is a Green Lantern. Oh, I've not now. No. no. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. That's a good question. Um. So. I don't think I would. I'm being legit. I don't think I could do that for any amount of money. Be like, you can only watch if you're watching a movie, TV show, fucking YouTube it may, video. It may start as whatever movie you intend it to be, but then it always ends Green Lantern. <laughs> That's not as bad. <laughs> I yeah. thought you were saying that every piece of media has been replaced. Like, I, I fucking get in my car, put on Spotify, and fucking the, the Green, Green Lantern, Lantern just, soundtrack. No, not even that. Green, <laughs> 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 fucking Green Lantern just starts playing from, like, the first scene all the way through, but in audio like, form. As an audio book, yeah. Exactly. I go to read a book, it's the Green Lantern script. Like, <laughs> you go to play Metal Gear, and halfway through the game, it just becomes oh Green Lantern. Oh, my God. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> oh, fuck that. So we were talking about the... I don't even know what the fuck we were talking about. We were about. talking about... Uh, talking about Green Lantern. You love this, so why? You, huh? We were talking about gifts that... No, no, we were think. talking about that. We were talking about the... You'd love this because you love these things. Right, that's what Kyle was talking about. That was and I was going to say that you said... Uh, you'll like this You'll, you'll like this gift because I. there's a particular... Not just gift. That's the name of this episode, you'll, you'll like this. <laughs> not just gift, but like thing. Yeah. Because... Uh, you were saying you were saying because uh, uh, people are trying to get to know you better. I think my aunt knows me pretty well. Mm-hmm. I think it's just ignorance. Yeah. Where it's like you know how another word that I've 
can another way I can describe one of those gifts where it's like you'll like this and it has all those good intentions behind it. Yeah, grandma gifts. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah grandma you know. gifts. My grandma eventually stopped doing that and started giving me money, and then she died. I don't have any grandmas. <laughs> But yeah, my, like I used to watch The Walking Dead, so my aunt's like, oh, Zane, you love zombies. Yeah. And it's like, do I? Yeah. <laughs> There's how much zombie me- And I mean, I'm not like trying to- Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, it's, it's ignorance. Like more, it's ignorance. Well, yeah, yeah but it's also it that people are more- I don't think people realize that you're more kind of interested in a specialized version of something. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Like, just it's, because it's you particular. like Walking Dead doesn't mean that you exactly. like- Exactly. Yeah. It's like, just because you like like- Corvettes doesn't mean that you like all cars. Exactly. Dude, you know? It's, you know what it is? It's fucking Big Bang Theory culture is what it fucking is. It's like, oh, Super Mario Brothers, you love all video games, Star Wars, you must like Star Trek. It's like all this shit kind of thing just gets lumped into this one fucking Big Bang Theory. It's math. stereotyping. Fucking Big Bang Theory. Fucking stereotyped, We're getting stereotyped, man. everybody. Um, GamersRiseUp.com. Go to stereotype.com. Yes. Go to stereotype.com. Submit a picture of yourself for the FBI fucking, database. Fucking beta up For child rapists. <laughs> <laughs> remember that was a thing on 4chan? Beta Uprising? No. It was a thing for a while. Uh, I don't remember. There's so many fucking things on 4chan. Uh, she's and yet there's no substance at all. <laughs> how, how, how did it go? She's Beta? No, no. I'm Beta and she's VHS. What? Beta Max? Max? Yeah, Beta Max. Okay. I'm Beta and she's VHS. She's the more relevant one that survives? I guess. That was the there old saying back in the... 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s, 60s. Well, in 1910, when Franklin Delano Roosevelt wheeled his sick ass out to the thing and said, We have nothing left to fear but Betamax and Gamerade. Stop drinking the Gamerade. And Cash Joe was like, Gamers rise up. <laughs> By the way, guys, Gamerade is spelled G A Y M E R A I D E. What? Because it helps you game, and you are fucking gay as shit, dude. <laughs> you fucking skinny Melvin sitting at home dry. jacking off watching fucking uh, uh, Overwatch SFM porn. I know what you're listen fucking to this podcast. I thought it was G A I M. No. E R U M. You are gay, man. Gamer. I thought it was G A I D S. B S is silent. Silent S. I thought it was Gaberade. Like Gay Ben. Gay Ben. Gay Ben Aid. We, that's, a diff, that's a different brand. Yeah, gay bait is the straight one. <laughs> gay bait. It's when guys stretch their dick holes out. Gay parade. Put fucking game, their game raid inside of their dick holes and then sit upside down like they're sucking their dick. But really, they're just drinking some game raid. Don't worry about it. Gay parade. Don't worry about your kid. Isn't that funny? Your that dick, people your dick holes game people kill themselves fucking trying to suck their own dick. I think that's the craziest thing in the world. But they they remove their two lowermost ribs. No, to do it. No, that's a fucking myth. What they do is they. No, they, people have done that. Haven't you guys ever tried to suck your own dick? When I, I have never like been that desperate. When I was like six, yeah. What have you never been that desperate, Colin? It's just a curiosity thing. Yeah. I've never been that curious. When I was, when I was like oh, six, I seven, eight. Been. Yeah, I did. I tried. Dude, yeah, you fucking, you lean, like, you will look it up, you go to google.com, type in fucking how to suck your own dick, and it's always like, so what you do is, you get in a ball stance, and you lean back, and you put your feet on the wall, and then you walk down the wall. <laughs> you put a lot of effort in That this. is what it said to do. Well, here's the thing. Yes. I didn't know that there was a word for porn until I was a freshman in high school. What did you think it was? What did, what did, what did you was. call it? I would just type in like... Dirtyboobies.com? Not even that. Like, I wouldn't even type in naked. I would just be like, boobs, but... <laughs> boobies. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I was so fucking uh, ignorant to all that shit. Dude, teenagers looking, for, teenagers looking for porn is one of the funniest things. I, I, feel like, I don't know. I feel like that might be a bygone era because I feel like porn is just... It's so all over the place relevant now. now online. Yeah. I used to go to... You just stumble upon it. I used to go on fucking Google Images and type in like, like, cum shots. Latinas. <laughs> big, big ass Latina women. <laughs> <laughs> now we know his preferences. That's not even true. I'm just saying back in the day, like, I, I don't know. Like, you used to, like, you would... You've been would caught, you Seamus. You've been caught red-handed you with your red-flavored Gamerade. What right? would you <laughs> <laughs> well, What's the kind of stuff you guys would type in? Like, you'd always be like, uh, think of like a character from something. You'd be like fucking Chun-Li porn. Not, face. I didn't know, uh, I didn't know that the word porn until I was legit a high schooler. I'm not kidding. What did you type in? Sex? I remember, I might have typed in sex. I think the, the most, uh, pornographic I got was like naked. Okay. And porn sites would not pop up. I don't know, because uh, around that time, I mean, I would have been playing a lot of Halo, but I don't remember if I ever typed in like Cortana stuff. I probably did. I never got into Cortana, she's like a hologram. Yeah, she was just like you can't fuck. She didn't really start her. getting that big old booty until like Halo Four. Yeah, Halo even 4, when she, she, even when she yeah. did, you can't do anything to her. That's true. 
It's just a pipe. I guess pipe I can. Thing. I guess I could take out the USB thing and instead of putting it in my helmet, I can put it in my dick hole. <laughs> That's what Chief did. But that's what Chief, like, every time, every, that's why Chief is so upset when she leaves the, the little hologram thing. Can you imagine if Chief did that? He's like, I got, sir, I'm finishing this fight. He puts in his yeah. dick hole and then he like flexes his dick and the USB cord breaks and they lose the war because of that. He's like, he's holding up his every time, Every time he puts the chip in the back of his helmet, he goes, oh, I'm going to come. <laughs> He puts it in. It's like Sergeant Johnson walks up and he's like, Chief, you're going to need this. And he puts it in and he's like, Oh! <laughs> yeah, Halo doesn't So it's really... also Halo Infinite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Master Chief. I wish I had Master Chief's voice. That'd be fucking awesome. Sir, I'm finishing this fight. I don't know what he, like... like, it's, like it's like the Optimus Sir, Prime Sir, voice. Where it's Sir, like... Yeah. It's like a less gay Duke Nukem. Like, he's not trying. He just sounds that yeah. fucking masculine. What does his voice actor look like? But, I, don't I don't know. Think just I've pump testosterone. I've seen with the guy who looks like who does, like, the fucking uh, kill streak announcer. Yeah. Like, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, like, a fucking, like, 60-year-old guy. And he, really? he's just, like, a regular-looking, like, old guy. Splatter spree. Yeah, that guy. That guy. Okay. Uh, Listen, yeah. I need you to get 80 pounds of horse testosterone. Talk to me. And pump it into my back, and then I might You'll sound. Like Chief. I might sound like Chief. Master the ring, you must Maybe. Learn to focus your will and create what you see in your mind. All right, I'm gonna go see who it is. Okay. Oh! Never let your guard down, Pusa. Welcome to Ring Slinging 101, or as I like to call it. <laughs> <laughs> Game over.